Dolly just started snoring. Oh my lord. Happy Happy Switch Out Saturday. I hope y'all had a wonderful 4th of July. <laughs> it was it was an experience here. The fireworks are going off. The girls are not happy about um, fireworks. They That's their least favorite thing on the planet. They Every time one goes off, they bark and they think it's like gunshots and they just freak out. And Boo kind of does this like thing. So for the, the biggest dog to like be scared and then the girls are just like angry. <laughs> like how dare they? Anywho, it was... Um, it was an experience and, um, yeah, fun times. Anywho, um, so that was not fun. Friday means half day of work for me, but it was just uh, tired and it's hot. We're, um, going through a mini heat wave, which is nothing compared to what the rest of the country is going through. So, you know, you can say cry me a river, Nancy. Um, 98, I think today, and it's going to be... 102 maybe I think by like Tuesday I can't remember the the actual forecast but anyway a small heat wave for a few days so we've basically just been trying to you know keep the house closed down and not leave but it's getting earlier and earlier it seems every year that we have a minor heat wave and they continue although this is not too bad. We had one that was like 115, 120. Um, no, 115. It was like when I, when I used to work at the the fair. When I worked in the fair industry, we had a couple of fairs that we had the over 100. And one of our buildings didn't have air conditioning, and it was a nightmare. So those those decimated our our industry on those years. So that was really an interesting time time in my life but that was over over a decade ago so anywho insights but we're here to talk about saturday oh hi let's talk about this this scenario so these two fingers here i had i've repainted them this is the third the third painting of these two nails and this is where they are as of this stage and i think i repainted them on wednesday I don't know why the first, like, after the first 24 hours, it, they both peeled clean off in one sheet, and then I repainted them, had some major chipping, and then I redid them um, Thursday morning. So that's what that looks like. These ones, while that looks really good, it's actually, let's do that, like all of the cuticle areas is gone, and then those... Or like that so oddly the cremes stay on a little bit better than the sparkly ones so they were fun though it was a fun little skills manny sure <laughs> good times went to the um outlets on fourth so i had that day off obviously um did a little bit of damage bought some stuff and i think i delved into the Nordstrom anniversary sale budget so that I will not be buying as much in, at Nordstrom because of what I bought there and I'll I don't know I I was gonna do a Nordstrom video but I'm thinking that it's it's been done and everybody tells you to buy stuff and mine's like the Debbie Downer video where I'm just like don't no don't don't bother and I'm a, I'm a, I'm livid the the one thing I buy every year isn't there this year that might be the, the whole video i do is <laughs> like what have i done to you nordstrom's what do you have against me buying my barefoot dreams cardigan <laughs> how dare you so yeah i'm displeased with that there's some other stuff that's you know okay in it but for the most part there's nothing that's driving me to go and um the hair care products i was going to buy not olaplex but um I think it's Bumble and Bumble. I can't remember the exact brand. The cosmetic company outlet had killer pricing on a three-piece set. Picked up three of them. It was like rock bottom pricing. Totally just great deals. So way better than what I could get at that sale anyway. So probably not going to do that. 
uh, we'll talk about the fragrances. We will talk about what the next manicure may be. I don't know what bag I want to carry because it's going to be so warm. I don't know if I'll leave, leave the house. Do I even need a purse? Maybe I'll keep the speedy on. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll go over there. We definitely want to pick out fragrances though because I do. I spritz regardless of what's going on with the weather. And yeah. So I'm apologizing in advance. I'm trying to keep the house cool so the lighting is not going to be great this week. And I'm going to try to keep it short as well so that we can all move on <laughs> to air conditioning if you're suffering from me. So anywho, um, really a successful week. The nails are still painted. Um, holiday was my favorite scent. I wore this um, at least twice. I think I actually sprayed it in addition to... Um, the the other fragrances so i kind of like mixed a few of them but again hot it's my favorite um fragrance so i kind of just like to indulge in that um and then deja vu i only wore once because it's just a strong floral and i just wasn't in that mood i did the cool baton one day did this one day this was just a little heavier than um, I was really in the mood for. So I kind of just favored this because I just love this scent. It's so clean and fresh and just lovely. And of course, who can resist some apple um, during 4th of July? I'm probably going to go for light scents. I will be right back. Okay. I'm making my phone use its light <laughs> to make it look a little bit better in here. Um, so I have chosen this week's scents, and they are interesting, to say the least, in my opinion. We'll start over here on the far right. I'm pulling out one I bought months ago, Kaoli's Yum, which I thought would be green. It's purple, uh, but I haven't worn it yet, so uh, that is going to be the first time using that one, Pistachio Gelato. And then I thought I would go with Atea Cologne's Lemon Island, which is more of a floral lemon, which then led me to Cheve d'Or, which is a true rose scent. I mean, rose is all rose can be. And I haven't worn that very much so far this year. So I want to wear that. This one, I was at the cosmetic company outlet and I got myself a candle in this scent and I just thought of it and that's why I'm wearing it. So I'm going to put that on the rotation. And then last but not least, um, I know folks have mentioned or asked about dupes for discontinued fragrances um, and I'm on the hunt to, I mentioned it millions of times, do my dupes for Louis Vuitton fragrances. So I have Cactus Garden from this particular house and um, Contremois. And you can see I've used quite a bit of the Contremois. They did a very good job, this particular um, brand, on Contremois. It's, it's very close, very close. So I'm very happy with that. I've been using that to supplement my bottle of LV and I'm quite pleased not so pleased with the cactus garden so i'm looking for another place to to dupe it i'm going to give it another shot maybe it just happened to be the first i don't know for a few times so i'm going to wear it this week and see if it's still what i remember it not being close enough um maybe come up and spritz it with you know that one and and just do a side by side but from what I remember I wore it for a couple of weeks and it wasn't anywhere near the um the dupe I needed so that is the tray of the week okay so I'm bringing these over you know what I wore so put these all back and where did you go you're up there Let's see. Let's keep it simple this week. Let's do 
So I'm just going to wear um, this topper just by itself. And it's very shimmery. So I'm going to do like two layers of it and that call it good and just see what happens. Because as I was talking to you earlier, I broke this nail and I just need, I need to heal. I need to come to a healing, healing, healing place. So that linear, right? Yeah. Linear hollow taco. That will be the shade of the day, week, month, whatever. I'm giving in. I am um, trying on the light. So I'm not going to change my bag because I don't get a chance to wear the Speedy very much, very long in the summertime. So I decided that I was going to use this bag, the Boxer, and at the last minute decided that I'd rather save this for later so this is this is coming soon this is out it's it's it has a time it will come soon but right now i decided that instead of swapping out a speedy i'm going to swap my slgs so i'm going to swap card holder i'm going to swap coin purse i am going to swap my catch-all for my very used up and dirty pochette accessoire and we will go there. So I was very full of items. I have my Saint Laurent Sunnies in there. I had wanted to carry these, but these were not fitting well. So those were on the side. Had this card case in there and everything else that I usually, you know, the keys and all that stuff was in there and it was just becoming a little tight. And I just wanna give this little guy a rest. So this one, what are you doing pickles? I wanna give this guy a rest and I wanna give mini skinny a rest. So we are gonna swap those items out and see what, if anything, that accomplishes in the grand scheme of things. And the other thing that I attached this crossbody to the um, Speedy to go out shopping, and I know that's not, that's frowned upon, but I like to use that strap with this bag when I go out with the dogs and stuff on occasion. This is the one that somebody shamed me for wearing a designer bag to the dog park. <laughs> so I thought I'll put this in here. Worst case scenario, this one, I can grab a card case. I can grab my phone, car keys, put the strap on, just run out real quick with this one, leave this one at home. So I could have a dual purpose week with this and even for future. So that is what, what was the, the, the point of all of this. So let me do that. We'll swap all of this stuff out. And I always have something in there. Peony and blush suede's in there. Hair tie, club card, the Chanel stuff. Okay. That in there. I've got a ton of room still in there, so. Sorry, I made that the coin case. So the Dior K 
case is staying. Let me try to figure this out a little bit better. So Dior case on the side here, coin case over here, here going here, sunnies are going over here, car keys stay over here. I'm on my phone. I just realized that. So um, normally I try to film on my other old phone, but so cell phone would go here, but that is what we're working with. So staying in the speedy. that's a wrap y'all it's way too hot <laughs> we've, got, we've got to cut it close um i've done one coat of this on my nails it's basically a sheer little you know whatever <laughs> on there so i hope you had a great week i hope that you're staying cool wherever you are and everything's going well for you I will check in next week. I don't know if I'm going to have a video on Wednesday. We'll see if I do. It's going to be a Nordstrom one. And it's probably going to be a Nordstrom roast if I do one. But given with the weather and setting everything up, we'll see. If We'll see. I appreciate you. I like hanging out with you. Watch my old videos. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, share all that lovely stuff. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to go hang out with the girls in the air conditioning and drink some iced coffee because I do that well. See you later.